The first thing we will do is draw out a circle. Go to the toolbar and select the ellipse tool or just press L for the keyboard shortcut. To draw a perfect circle, hold down the shift key, but in this case, that doesn't matter much because let's make this 1,230 pixels tall and wide. This is going to be the outer rind part. So let's make the color a nice deep green, 467F41. Now let's use this to create the inner circles. So hit Control C to copy and then Control Shift V to paste it exactly on top of our shape. Change the color to be yellowish with F2EDB6. Let's decrease the size of this circle by holding Shift Alt while dragging out a corner or we could just type in 1100 pixels for the width and height. Control C and Control Shift V again to copy and paste. Set the color to be red with CC4065 and this will be the actual watermelon part. The size will be a thousand pixels. With our watermelon drawn out, let's cut it in half by first drawing out a rectangle. Go to the toolbar or press M for the shortcut. Starting from the top left, draw out a shape over the circles. Click and drag over all the shapes and in the Pathfinder tab, select Trim. Doing this will cut away anything outside of our rectangle. Hit Control Shift G to ungroup the rectangle and press Delete. For the seeds, first let's draw a guide circle for the seeds to go around. Hit Shift and X to swap the fill and stroke so we can better see what we will be doing. Draw out a circle to be 775 pixels tall and wide. We want to align the circle vertically center with our slice. Click and drag down the circle to align its center with the top of the watermelon slice. Select everything and in the Align tab, click Align Horizontal Center. For the actual seat design, draw a small ellipse and make it 55 by 85 pixels big. Select the fill color to be 4C2037. Click and drag over the middle two anchor points. With them both selected, drag them down slightly to create more of an egg shape. Click and drag over the seed, hold shift and rotate it 180 degrees. Bring the seed over to the circle and place it at the top inside directly in the middle using the smart guidelines. Select the seed and press R on the keyboard to switch to the rotate tool. Find the middle of the circle and hold down Alt and click on that point. This will bring up the rotate options dialog box. Type in 360 slash 16. What this does is place 16 seeds along the circle an equal distance from each other. Then hit the copy button to copy the seed instead of just moving it. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it along the circle until we reach the top again. With the seeds in place, so let's remove all the excess. Click and drag over the circle and the seeds that we don't need and hit delete on the keyboard. Remove these two extra as well. And now we have a finished watermelon design. 